Hello, and welcome to Best Web Soft. In this video, we are going to learn how to work with the Sitemap plugin by Best Web Soft. Let's start by installing the plugin. To do so, we need to go to Plugins and click Add New. Then we need to search for plugin, type Sitemap by Best Web Soft. Click Install Now and activate. The next thing you need to do is to customize the settings. Click on the settings page. You'll see the general settings page. Remember to save your changes after every action. Enable the robot.txt option to make the sitemap XML file noticeable for search engines. If the notification message the robots.txt option is enabled, you should disable the search engine visibility option on the reading settings page appears at the top of the panel. Open the reading settings page. Disable the search engine visibility option to discourage search engines from indexing the site. Click the save changes button. Next, go to the plugin settings and see that the notification has been removed. Enable the media site map option to make media files, images and videos visible for search engines. You can rename the sitemap file. To do this, you need to change the name in the sitemap file name field. Use the change frequency option to inform search engines about the content changing frequency on the website. Use the external sitemap update frequency option to set the external sitemap update frequency in days. Use the URLs limit option to set the maximum number of URLs available in a single sitemap file. Use the split sitemap option to split the sitemap with separate child sitemaps for posts, pages, and categories. Use the Google Search Console option to log in and authorize your website with Google Search Console. Click the Open the Google Search Console button to add your website to the Google Search Console. You will see the authorization code after a successful authorization. Copy the code, paste it into the field, and click the Authorize button. If you have some problems with adding a sitemap to Google automatically using Google Sitemap by Best Web Soft plugin, for example invalid authorization code, it is possible to do it manually. Make sure that the sitemap file is created by following the link on the information section. Make sure that the sitemap.xml file is in a site, for example, using FileZilla or using your hosting file manager. Go to Open Google Search Console website and click the Start Now button. Enter the domain or URL of your website and click the Continue button. In the next window, click the Download the File button. Copy the obtained file to the root directory of your site where the sitemap file is also located. Go back to Google Search Console and click the Verify button. Click the Add button to add your site to Google Search Console and verify it. The window with verification status will appear next to the option. To display info from Google Search Console click the Get Info button. Enable the Alternative Language Pages option to add pages in other languages to the sitemap. You need to install the multi-language by Best Web Soft plugin first. Use the Sitemap Structure tab to define pages and posts that you want to include or remove from the sitemap file. Enable default post types, such as posts and pages, to include them in the sitemap file. Enabling the taxonomies will provide an additional path to your posts, thus increasing the chances of your content being found by users. Use the options of the miscellaneous settings tab to make the settings regarding the track usage and default settings. Enable the track usage option to allow tracking plugin usage anonymously. Click the Restore Settings button to cancel all the adjustments that have been made previously. Click the Yes, Restore All Settings button to confirm the procedure. 
Use the license key tab to activate or check the Pro plugin license. After a successful plugin purchase, you will receive an email notification with a download link and the license key. Activate Pro License by pasting a license key into the Sitemap Pro License field and clicking the Save Changes button. To check the license key, click the Check License Key button. If the entered key is correct the notification with the license expiration date will be displayed in the upper left corner of the page. Use the Manage License Settings option to change your license settings. Click the Login to Client Area button to open your personal client area dashboard located on the bestwebsoft.com website. Browse and download purchased products, change the license domain and copy the license keys. Use the custom links page to add custom links into your sitemap, making them visible for search engines. Open the custom links page. Click the add new button. Copy the necessary URL and paste it into the field. Enable the sitemap option to include the custom URL into the sitemap. Set the priority and change frequency of the custom URL. Click the Save button. These were all the settings for the Sitemap by Best Web Soft plugin. Download the Sitemap by Best Web Soft plugin by following the link in the description. We hope this video will help you with your goals. Thanks for watching and goodbye.